we are going to visit Israel. And the pilot for the today's flight is Dr. Nishta. Over to you, Dr. Nishta. Hello, everyone. Hello, my dear guests. How are you all? Good. Good. So you're ready for today's flight Good, to Israel? Yes. yes okay, okay. All geared up? Yes. Let's start yes. the flight then. Okay. So let's study about Israel today. Actually, let's have a tour of Israel today, a virtual tour. Okay. So now, yes, so this is the map of Israel. Here you can see Tel Aviv, which is a very beautiful city there in Israel. Okay, then there is Gaza, Jerusalem, it's also a very beautiful place. Then there are other places also there. Okay. So, I mean, now, Israel looks very thin like this. Yes, yes, if absolutely. You see the map, yeah. It looks kind of it looks kind of thin and then a V shape at the end. Yes, yes, you're right. Right, Abir. Good observation. Okay, so now let's see the geography of Israel. Okay, so what are the border countries? The countries bordering Israel. Which are those countries? They are Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. Okay. And Wait, the water body. Where is Israel located? Is it is it in located? the middle, middle eastern part. Middle eastern part. Africa? No, it's the middle eastern country. It's near the Mediterranean Sea. Then why can it be, uh, then how can it be surrounded by Egypt if Egypt is in Africa? Uh, well, that's a good question. But if you see it here, see, see this map here. Isn't it surrounded by Egypt here? Yes, Egypt ah. and Jordan. Yes. Okay, so the border countries are Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. And the water bodies which are being bordered, they are the Mediterranean Sea and the Dead Sea. Okay, these are the two water bodies which are being bordered. So now let's study, like let's know about it more. So it's a Middle Eastern country on the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, and is regarded by the Jews, Christians and Muslims as the biblical holy place or holy land. It's a very religious place for these people. Now, its most sacred sites are in Jerusalem. Within its old city, the Temple Mount complex includes the Dome of the Rock Shrine, the historic Western Wall, Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. We have to remember these names, okay? So within the old city, the Temple Mount Complex, what all does it include? It includes the Dome of the Rock Shrine, the historic Western Wall, the Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Israel's financial hub Tel Aviv is known for its Bauhaus architecture and beaches so this is famous for what for Bauhaus architecture and beaches the city Tel Aviv now this is the flag of Israel this is also beautiful isn't it this yes? is kind of what I was expecting yeah so why were you expecting it like that Abir except I didn't expect a star in the middle all right, that's good. So the blue stripes are intended to symbolize the stripes on a talit. So this is a talit. Okay, it's a shawl which the people there, you know, like take over them while praying, especially. Okay, so the traditional Jewish prayer shawl, it is called a talit. The star of David, which is this star here in the center, is a widely acknowledged symbol of the Jewish people and of Judaism. Okay, In Judaism, the color blue symbolizes God's glory, purity and Gevura. That is the strength. Okay, So these stripes are symbolizing what? The talit, the shawl which they use Okay, for prayers. And the star is symbolizing what? It symbolizes 
the Jewish people and Judaism. And the blue color is why is it used? The blue color because it symbolizes God's glory, strength that is Gevura and purity. Okay. Now this is the capital of Israel that is Jerusalem. It's a beautiful place there. And this is the currency of Israel. That's called Israeli Shekel. It is equal to 23.04 Indian rupees. Fine. One Shekel is equal to 23.04 Indian rupees. What? Yes. That's right, Abir. Okay. And now let's come to the population of Israel. So it's 90.5 lakhs only. The land area, the total area of the state of Israel, of the entire state of Israel is 22,145 square kilometers. Or we can I also call it... Is. Why? I don't know why it's just uh, this much. <laughs> because it's, why, why? Because it's kind of a thin country, not many people yeah. can... So yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good logic, uh, Abhi. That's a good one. So, of which 21,671 square kilometers is just the land area out of 22,145 square kilometers. Israel is some 420 kilometer in length and 115 kilometer across the widest point. So, yes, Abir, you observed it right. Yes? Okay. Now, let's come to the language. The language which is being used there. Hebrew or Arabic, the two languages in the widest use in Israel are Hebrew and Arabic. English is also widely spoken and understood. So as we know, English is almost you know, spoken everywhere. Arabic is the daily language and the language of instruction for Israel's Arabic citizens. So it is basically for Israel's Arabic citizens. Otherwise, English and Hebrew are being used there. Now, Israel is also famous for being the ancestral homeland of the Jews. It is also famous for being the birthplace of two major religions of the world, which are the Judaism and Christianity. And now let's come to Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. It is an international icon. Yeah, it's the holiest city in the world. It is the most sacred place in the world. It is especially holy for whom? For the Jews, Christians and the Muslims. Tel Aviv is the coolest city in the Mediterranean region. You can also float at the lowest place on the earth here in Jerusalem. It has a diverse scenery, a very beautiful place, full of natural beauty, full of, you know, beautiful things. Okay. And of course, it is safer than you think. It's, it's much safer than that. As much as you know about it, it's quite safe than that. So Judaism and ancient Israel. So these are the sculptures there. Okay. Masada or a fortress in Hebrew is a mountain complex in Israel in the Judean desert that overlooks the Dead Sea. So as we have seen the water bodies which are being bordered are the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean Sea, right? So Masada is a mountain complex in Israel in the Judean desert that overlooks the Dead Sea. It is famous for the last stand of the Zealots and Sicarii in the Jewish revolt against Rome. Masada is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yes, we have to remember this. Masada is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Israel. Okay. Now this is Tel Aviv. So this is a picture of this city, a beautiful city. Doesn't it look beautiful? Yes very high a very beautiful and a very serene city it's the second largest city in israel and the richest one it was founded in 1909 on the outskirts of a port city it soon grew larger than its neighbor and in 1950 two years after the establishment of the state of israel 
the two will join together to create the modern Tel Aviv. Okay, so this is the second largest city in Israel and the richest city there. Okay, these are the things we have to know about. Now, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, Basilica, dating to the 4th century, that is marked by some Christians as the site of Jesus' tomb. Western wall, as we have seen before, the western wall, it's a remnant of the ancient wall of the temple courtyard, a sacred site of Jewish prayer and pilgrimage. So, Church of the Holy Sepulchre and the western wall. Now, the Dome of the Rock. It is an Islamic shrine located on the Temple Mount in the Old City of Jerusalem. The iconic gold-topped Islamic shrine built around 690 AD with huge relevance to both Christians and Jews. So, it's relevant to both Christians and Jews. Which place? The Dome of the Rock or the Islamic shrine. And where is it located? On the Temple Mount in the Old City of Jerusalem. Okay. Now, the Temple Mount. Hilltop, also called the Noble Sanctuary, containing Islamic, Christian and Jewish structures. So, the Temple Mount is also called the Noble Sanctuary and it contains the Islamic, Christian and the Jewish structures. Now, this is a mini Israel. It is a miniature park. Yes, it's a park actually, located near Latran in the Ayalon Valley. It opened in November 2002 and the site contains miniature replicas of hundreds of buildings and landmarks in Israel. So, it's just a miniature replica or as the name suggests, mini Israel. Okay. Now, the airlines, Arkia, El Al, Israel and Sun Dior. Okay, these are the airlines there in Israel. Now, there are mild temperatures there. Yes, it's neither too hot, neither too cold. Nor too cold. Okay, I'm sorry, it's neither too hot nor too cold. So, it's a mild temperature there. It supports the cultivation of citrus fruits, figs, and grapes. Then, reforestation was done in 1990 in Israel. Fresh fruit was considered one of the country's best meals. National food is falafel. Staple food is bread. And jakan is the weekend food. Okay, so there are different foods there for different things. So the food here, fatosh. It's a popular Palestinian salad prepared a lot during the fasting month of Ramadan. It is a very fresh spring salad that combines many nutritious ingredients. Now, the chicken fatah. The word fatah generally refers to any meal that contains pieces of fried or roasted bread. So, some examples are hummus fatah, eggplant fatah and chicken fatah. Now, what is falafel there? It is a Middle Eastern dish. It's, you know, it looks like a deep fat fried ball as you can see in the picture here. It is eaten in flat bread with lettuce, tomatoes, etc. Okay, just like, you know, uh, you can call it something similar to a cutlet or a vada pav, you can call it. Yeah, something similar to that. Okay. So, here we come to the end of our journey. I hope you've been able to understand. Wait a second, so early? Yes. You know, it's a small country. Already? <laughs> yes, Abir. A thin one, that's why. Ma'am. Yes, who is it? Ansh. Yes, Ansh. Ma'am, I have done yesterday's activity. I have drawn the Israel's flag. Can I show? Oh, wow. Please, yes, yes, please. But you'll have to turn on your camera for that, Ansh. Oh, beautiful, Ansh. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. Very Thank good, Ansh. You, Thank you, ma'am. 
So over to you, Manbir. Okay, so yes, so what is the capital of Israel? Anyone? Capital, Israel capital. Who all are there today? Pranjal and Prakhar, Abir, Rohita, and. When we knew this one, let me just think. Okay, yeah, sure, no problem. Israel, Israel capital. Uh -huh. Something like uh, Jer. Yes, yes, that's right. Jerusalem, I believe. Very good, very good. And the richest Jerusalem. city in Israel. Very good, Rich. very good. Richest what in Israel? Richest city in Israel. Abir and. Yes, the chest. Savion, Savion. No. From Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv, very good. Okay, what else do you all Tel remember? Aviv. Yes, very good. And what else do you all remember from today's tour? Anything you take home? Rocks. Which are the, which are the water bodies which are being bordered? Dead Sea and Mediterranean Sea. Dead sea and That's good. That's good. good. Man, Wait, I have so one sad. fact about Israel. The Dead, uh, dead who's Sea. Speaking, who's speaking? Me. Ma'am. Abir. Abir. Okay, who's telling me a fact? Abir. No, no, I'm not saying. The... No, just, just a minute, Abir. Just a minute. Yeah. Who's telling me a fact? Who said I have a fact? Ma'am, I am Anj. Anj. Yes, Anj, please. Um, Tell us all. Man, the world's first restaurant were also open in the Israel. Oh wow! Really? Yes, okay. ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Yes, Abir, please go on. It's it's surrounded by the Dead Sea. You just said the Dead Sea is a saltwater lake, which almost no one can swim on their tummies. They have to swim on their uh, backs. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I've heard something similar, yeah. And and you know, do you all know? Uh, the technology which was developed for the cell phones, it was developed for the first time in Israel. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, even voicemail was invented there. Yes, yes, that's right. All right. It's anything like else all the Mom, can I tell a fact? Rosa? Yes, please, Rohita. Mom, Israel is a very safe place. Yes, it is. And it, I think it has a lot of poverty. Uh, I'm not really sure of that. Israel uh, is one of three, uh, you know, countries in the world without the constitution. Okay, wow. All right. And, Thank you, Prakar. And it's very powerful, Israel. Yes, yes, yes. And it's the most sacred Beautiful. place in the whole world. Like, I don't know this, that it's true or not, but it could be one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Yes, it can be, no doubt. Any, any anything else? Yes? Ma'am, there is not place for parking in India, but in Israel, there is much space for parking the car. Oh, wow. That's, a, that's one interesting fact, actually. Who said this? Ma'am, Un. Ansh, okay. Ansh, why can't I see you? Please, may I see you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Yes, Abir, you raised your hand. I have to ask a question. Yes. What country is tomorrow? 
what country is tomorrow that manbir ma'am will tell you okay okay so tomorrow we will be visiting italy italy well, okay i want to speak some uh, the words of italian who oh, speaking rohita yes ma'am okay okay guys let's wind up our journey now manbir okay so rohita you can just tell all those words tomorrow and for the tomorrow as you all know we are going to visit italy so i want you all to search about some of the facts of the italy right okay ma'am okay so we'll meet you all tomorrow all right bye bye everyone take care